Everybody knows potato chips are not good for them. Everybody knows that French fries aren't good for them. They know that cheesecake's not good for them. But nobody will dare speak out against the deviant sexual practices that occur in this country and are not only not talked about, are promoted by mainstream entertainment and society. Promoted deviant sexual practices that are harmful to the human being. Pathogenic sexual practices that cause serious diseases. This isn't like a fatty food that takes time, many years, before it accumulates and causes a heart attack. This is a one-time possible death sentence. And yet people won't speak honestly about it. The World Health Organization tells us that rectal intercourse is the most risky form of sexual behavior. That's what the World Health Organization has to say, and yet people will not say this is not a healthy choice. I don't want my child to be practicing this, male or female. This has nothing to do with sexual preference. This has to do with a sexual practice that is done amongst heterosexual people and amongst homosexual people. Yet it's harmful and nobody wants to speak about it. We need our physicians to speak up about the types of cancers that occur, about what happens when you get genital warts. I worked for a gastroenterologist and saw firsthand what happens to people. Nobody wants to talk about this. And yet we have a society now where they say just get a vaccination for HPV as if this is some normal event that's going to happen in your life. You're just going to get HPV. No, there are many strains of HPV, but sexually transmitted HPV is a very specific type that is transmitted through sexual practices when people are having multiple partners or practicing types of sexual behavior that are unacceptable. This is the reality of our culture. We need to, we need to have honesty amongst our physicians. People need to speak out. They can't be afraid of a culture that is promoting pathogenic forms of behavior. Recently, at the Pride, Gay Pride Parade in New York, they requested that they all get meningitis shots because there's a new strain of meningitis in the homosexual community that is extremely deadly and it has only shown up in that community. It is not fair to people with same-sex urges not to tell them about the dangers of this lifestyle. It's not fair. For young people, old people can make their decisions, but a 15-year-old kid in high school, he deserves to know the nature of these practices. 